Well, up, gang? Carolina Jack Pot Time coming at you February 4th, 2023. How's everyone doing? It's Saturday morning, and it is uh, pretty cold up here in the upstate of South Kakalaka, 20 something degrees. Uh, I don't think that we're going to get any white stuff around this way um, this winter. I just don't think that that's in the cards for us. Normally, it happens by now, uh, or it's in the forecast by now uh, if it's going to happen. So, yeah, yeah, it is, it is what it is. Uh, I, I don't especially like it, but uh, the business that I work in, it's good for that. It drives some business, drives sales to the grocery stores and uh, all that. So <clears throat> in that respect, I kind of wish that we'd get a little bit or even even the threat of it, even the threat of it uh, around here because it, I, all these folks around here go nuts when they hear the word snow. Uh, just like anywhere else i don't know how i don't know how it's going to be uh right now I, as i've been out of grocery business uh for several years i haven't managed a, a grocery store since 2018 so i don't know i mean i'm sure all the yankees that have moved down here um they're a little bit better prepared for it uh as far as them personally but our roads aren't prepared for it and they're not prepared for that so uh, hold on to your hats. Uh, anyway, uh, South Carolina Gamecocks. <clears throat> Yesterday, four-star Mazio Bennett uh, commits to the Gamecocks. That's a big pickup for South Carolina. Um, really highly regarded wide receiver in the class of 2024. Uh, this kid's from uh, Greenville High, right? Up the road in Greenville, South Kakalaka. Eh? And, uh, you know, South Carolina hasn't had... Uh, a whole lot of success recruiting players from Greenville High uh, in the past. Uh, there's just maybe a couple that uh, that we've had there on the roster. So uh, that's a good thing. I wouldn't say Greenville High is a powerhouse uh, in South Carolina High School football, but they're formidable. Uh, they've been pretty good for the last 10, 15 years. Um, when I was in high school and we played in Greenville High, it was absolutely god-awful. But then again, my team was worse than God awful. So I, I don't know how you weigh that out. They've elevated their game. And uh, mine, well, they pretty much stayed the same. <laughs> uh, I think they made the playoffs one time in the 20 something years since I have uh, not uh, been a student there or a uh, student athlete there. Uh, to, anyway, um, now they've made the playoffs. Uh, they just would lose in the first round haven't made it past the first round i should say it's more accurate uh three uh freshman uh football players uh actually one of which was class of 2022 so he's been on campus for a year that has been suspended uh from the team uh now one of those players um uh, Montague, we'll call him Montague. Uh, his name is spelled M O N T E Q U E. I don't know if it's Montague or Montique. Uh, I'm sure he doesn't go by either one. Um, so we'll call him Q uh, because I like barbecue and that kind of rhymes with barbecue. So barbecue uh, was arrested uh, yesterday for, uh, I'm sorry, as I prepare to. Uh, to get ready to uh, go to work here as well. Um, barbecue was arrested yesterday um, for uh, having a gun on school grounds and obstruction of justice. So I guess he was uh, fighting with the cops. I mean, that's just absolutely just, that's just a moronic move uh, by this young man. It really, it makes no sense. And here's the thing that makes no sense about it. Why do you, he's been, the, the other two uh, kids have been suspended from the team. Uh, that being uh, Anthony Rose, uh, uh, the safety uh, from Miami uh, Dade High, uh, of course in Florida. And then um, Cameron Upshaw, who's another kid, class of 2023, who just enrolled. Um, and I don't know what he did either. Neither one of those is clear. I don't know if they're related to uh, barbecue. Could be. Uh, most likely is because I don't think these are like a uh, bunch of isolated incidents that uh, coach just decided to suspend you for. But uh, Q uh, brings a gun to school 
um, you're riding around with it or, go, or going around with it, why, why in the world, what, what good reason is there that a six foot five north of 200 pounds young man who plays defensive end on a football team need to carry a gun around for? Why do you need to, why do you need that? What do you need it for? I mean, you only have um, a few reasons for doing so. Uh, number one, I mean, are you planning on robbing somebody? And I'm not, I'm not like suggesting that, okay? I'm not suggesting that that's what he was up to. Um, or, you know, are you trying to protect yourself from someone? I, I don't think that at six foot five, 250 something pounds, I really don't think there are a lot of people threatening you bodily harm. Okay, that's just that's just the way that it is. I don't see a lot of people that um, are really going to be trying to, uh, you know, get on your bad side to where you need to do that. Or <coughs> are you <coughs> are you uh, getting into it with someone else who happens to be bringing a firearm around school? All three are bad, and thing about it is with this young man. That's against the, uh, that goes against the rules of the University of South Carolina. And guess what? It's punishable by them dismissing you from school. And you got to remember that this is still a university. These, these, these schools where these kids are playing football at, you know, we can talk NIL, we can talk transfer portal, we can talk all that all we want to, but you got to remember these are still universities and they have to abide by, uh, those university policies. <laughs> so I hope that this guy doesn't get kicked off the team and kicked out of school because um, that's going to be a huge blow. Um, he's a, a big body. He's going to be playing on the defensive line. And South Carolina needs that. They need help there. Um, and he has the uh, ability to be a very good player. The other two kids I ain't going to speculate on. I ain't going to speculate on it a lot. Because I don't know what they did. It, it doesn't say and uh, it hasn't come out. Um, if it's the same thing, that's just all, it, it's all unfortunate. It doesn't make sense. And it, it's it's par for the course, though, for the Gamecocks because, you know, you, you just landed a five-star on Wednesday and now this on Friday leading it going into Saturday. It's, it's you know, you know, the thing is, what the one term people say, look on the bright side, and uh, behind every cloud there's a silver lining. Well, uh, behind every uh, little bit of sunshine for us, there's always a dark cloud. And not so much in as players getting in trouble, because really, uh, they have not uh, under Shane Beamer. You haven't seen um, hardly any discipline issues. I don't know of any. Um I've seen some with maybe some effort issues, uh, but as far as discipline issues, I really haven't seen those. And we really didn't see many uh, under Will Muschamp. There was the kid Jamel Cook who came from uh, uh, the uh, fake uh, USC over on the left coast. Uh, now he got arrested. Uh, I think that was some domestic type stuff. Whatever. Um, it, it, I don't think it had to do with the farm. I don't think, if I'm remembering correctly. Now, uh, under Lou Holt, South Carolina did have issues with uh, players getting arrested. I uh, getting in trouble a lot. Uh, that was rough. Uh, but this is unfortunate. And the thing is, you, for Shane Beamer, who's trying to build a program, he needs these guys. He needs them. It's not like he can just say, oh, screw it. You know, I've, I've got I've, I got five stars stacked up like cordwood. You know, like I used to say about Clemson. They'd say, well, all right, we got, we got more five stars coming. Uh, you know, no, not so much. Not anymore, you don't. Um, <laughs> and <clears throat> more about them in a second, but. Beamer needs these people, and, uh, you know, he needs to keep projecting that positive culture. So it's, it's important here that he makes the right decision. If he's allowed to keep these guys, uh, I, and I, like I said, I don't know what they did. So, I mean, if he's allowed to keep uh, Q in school, uh, keep him on the team, it's important that he's disciplined the correct way. But then again, you don't want to scare off potential recruits by being too harsh and saying, well, I'm going to kick him off the team uh, just to make an example out of him. Um, so, you I mean, you can't do that, really. 
But you've got to you got to lay a firm foundation. Yet it has to be to where it's you know not something that's going to uh, sway other people from coming here and saying, "Hey, this this guy's an asshole, and I ain't gonna be able to do shit." Um, <laughs> you know, and, and and honestly, I mean, some of these kids, I mean, and I'm not trying to 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 like. You know, stereotype nobody like this, but like like Rose, and once again with Rose, I don't know what he did, but he comes from Miami Central High. Okay, now you know that he's probably uh, he probably has been been in a few scuffles. We'll just say that in in his life, he's probably been brought up a little rough. Might be a little rough around the edges. That's kind of a rough place. I'm not being you know negative by saying that, but. You know, these kind of guys that, that have been brought up like that, you know, they got a little bit of, they got a little bit of shit to them. They got a little bit of shit to them. Got a little bit of, got a little bit of, uh, a little bit of swagger. And guess what? Those are, uh, many times the guys that make the best football players. You now, it's not often that, uh, you find the guy tucked in the corner of the library or the guy, uh, buried in his Xbox after practice that's going to become a future NFL first rounder. <laughs> just not but i mean you can you can you can be about that lifestyle and you can have that lifestyle but you know just you gotta corral it but once again i don't know what he did so we're not gonna say that it had anything to do with that but um it's unfortunate hopefully if they're allowed to uh remain in school uh they'll be um you know hand it'll be handled the right way and um I mean, a barbecue needs to get his stuff together. There's no reason that a guy like that <clears throat> or any of these football players should be carrying guns around. I mean, it is just, it just don't make no sense. Um, it don't make no sense to be doing that. So, uh, but, uh, I, I did see a Clemson fan on Facebook yesterday commented about him and said, there you go. There's a reason why Clemson didn't pursue him. I'm like, you know, there's always got to be something with these idiots. You know, I, I guess there's a reason why Dabo didn't pursue him, okay? Yes, Dabo has a crystal ball to know everything about everybody's character. Well, it's it's odd that Nick fucking Saban uh, offered the kid a scholarship to come play at Alabama. Um, so I guess, you know, with, with all the natties, he, he's won all the games, the SEC championships, he's won widely regarded as the best college football coach of all time. I guess he don't have the same kind of crystal ball that, that Lord Dabo does, right? Lord Dabo, and I need to make a video about Dabo too, uh, with the crybaby routine uh, that he's been putting on lately. He's been uh, he's had a big crybaby routine about the Clemson fans, uh, you know. And I don't know here, I, I, I can't decide. You guys have seen it too. I can't decide if I'm on the side of Dabo or I'm kind of on the side of the fans. You know, he's kind of calling them out for uh, for kind of poo pooing the team the past couple of years, uh, you know, because all they did was win the ACC and we're. Yeah, we're we're in a better place than we've ever been, which I, I think most of them would kind of disagree with you there on that a little bit. But uh, more on him later. I think I'm going to do a separate video on Dabo Sweeney uh, and the crybaby routine sometime later on this weekend. I got a lot to say about that. But uh, three players suspended. Hopefully they're allowed to remain in school uh, with one of those kids who we know what he did. I'm not sure about because that's a violation of school policy and uh it's punishable by being kicked out. So I hope that's not the case. But uh, at any rate, guys, um, Carolina Jackpot will keep you updated uh, if I can. Uh, and I will see y'all later. I appreciate it. Peace. And I'm out of here still. Go Gamecocks and uh, go Coach Beamer. Ah, ah, ah. Woo!